how to show touches while screen recording on iPad as you can see I have you can uh, you can see where the where I'm going you can see this circle the pointer the uh, type of arrow that you have on your computer um, this is very useful if you're like a teacher and you're trying to redirect the, the students or so they can see what you're doing on the screen so that's really important and I think that's the best way to do that right so what you need you need a mouse okay you on, this only works when you have a mou mouse uh, mouse yeah and now if I go to settings here we have um, go to settings and now go to accessibility and right over here we have pointer control um, and you can increase this, you can increase the pointer but this only works when you have a mouse if you don't have a mouse now let me let me show you if you have a mouse so go to accessibility and then pointer control and now You can increase. You can add the color, increase the increase the border, right? The color, and Essentially, that's the best way. If you want to have this, you just need to buy a mouse and connect it through you, through a dock. Like if it's a a mouse, a cable mouse, you just need to use um, a hub, not a dock. Sorry, a hub. That's what I'm using. This is uh, a cable mouse connected to my iPad, and I have a iP uh, Apple Lightning. I bought as well otherwise it doesn't work but you don't have you can use a Bluetooth mouse which is a better option a Bluetooth mouse that's a better option a Bluetooth mouse and you can enable this from accessibility and then you need to go to point control and here you can enable uh, this as well as you can see a Bluetooth settings and here we have Bluetooth keyboard but I also have the mouse which is not showing here because it's not a Bluetooth uh, mouse but I have a Bluetooth mouse I mean it's not a Bluetooth mouse it's like a Wi-Fi mouse which I have to plug a little something a USB I need to plug which I don't recommend at all I made the mistakes and I bought a Wi-Fi Wi-Fi uh, mouse which and I thought it was uh, was a Bluetooth mouse, but it wasn't. So yeah, I, I, that was my mistake. Um, I think that's the that's the video, guys. So please buy a mouse and then go to point pointer control, and here you can uh, customize the way you want. You can also add animation, as you can see now when I'm hovering over accessibility, it shows this highlighter kind of effect, which is pretty cool. And if I disable this, doesn't show anything. I have uh, automatically hide pointer All right it's pretty useful guys so that's why I'm suggesting you to buy a mouse if you're creating tutorials or you're showing your students and they really have to see the pointer where your mouse is going um, so uh, that's it guys that's the entire video hmm I hope this video provides you value and um, also I forgot to show you something like if you don't have a mouse or if you don't want to buy a mouse you can uh, go to touch right over here accessibility and look for touch and here in touch we have assistant touch and enable 
assistive touch from here and now uh, let me show you you'll have this uh, square right where you have another s other settings but I s you can use this like you can drag it with your finger this uh, square and you can s show people okay go to my finder this app and you hover over this app so people can see where you're pointing at that's a solution as well but it's a bit annoying because you have to use a finger and I can't, I can't even drag it I can actually I can drag it to my mouse okay so you drag it with your finger and then you show people okay go to this app CupCat and open it okay wh whatever so that's a solution as well I've seen other people using it and it works but it's not the best option but it works okay it works so just grab it with your finger and you show people a bit but uh, yeah so yeah just drag with your finger you can show people go to assistive touch enable it it, it works it works it's not a bad it's a good option if you don't have anything else now oh, you can even uh, increase the opacity can when when it's not active um, opacity it's decrease it's you know it's not full and that's it guys, I hope this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you for watching this video.